All right, guys, just doing a follow-up video here on the World of Gigs. Uh, I got several people emailing me uh, about uh, asking me how to get the information uh, on how to build these things um, and um, how to get kids involved uh, in these things. I think that's a great, great thing to do if you have uh, children, grandchildren, and um, you know, especially uh, if, if you're into mechanics yourself, uh, tractors, cars, trucks, whatever, and you want to get your, uh, uh, you know, get the children involved uh, in the same hobby as you. We'll start them out on simple mechanics. The Willow Gig is a great way to do that because you can, whatever the, uh, the youngster is interested in, you can make a Willow Gig of that particular subject. Be it sports, horses, uh, trucks, cars, tractors, whatever. Uh, you can incorporate that into a Willow Gig. And the same way, uh, while doing so, you can uh, teach them the basics of mechanics. Um, you know, most people think of mechanics, uh, they think of, uh, you know, uh, steam engines and gasoline engines and such. Uh, that's nonsense. It all started with wood. Um, you know, so we're getting back to the very basics of very simple mechanical wooden gears and levers and things um, that are all exposed and easy to see. Uh, you know, a young mind can uh, grasp it better and understand uh, the mechanics and um, give them a good foundation. Um, certain books I highly recommend. Uh, this one here, uh, Mechanical Movements um, by Henry T. Brown. Uh, great book, great book, all uh, wooden movements, and explains how the uh, basic mechanics all work. All right, um, another great book over here is uh, Kinetic, Creative Kinetics by Robert Frost, uh, uh, Rodney Frost, I'm sorry. Great, great book. This book is, I think, one of the best books I've, uh, I've ever bought. It shows very basics, um, how a cam works, how a crank works. Um, how a, a drive shaft works, a piston works on very, very simple, basic drawing, simple, basic wooden uh, things you can create with uh, a young person. Uh, just out of a uh, simple wood or cardboard, um, and you can understand uh, exactly how things work. And, uh, you know, kids love putting things together, and, uh, and of course, kids, uh, you know, always love painting things. So you get all the pieces together and you do the painting and uh, you know you can get a, a you know two or three kids involved in making one world a gig and uh, it's a great project and you put it out in the yard and they see it uh, actually doing uh, what it's supposed to do it's a fantastic thing and something I'll never forget and uh, certainly uh, will set the uh, grounds for uh, mechanical knowledge um, I'm always making world of gigs myself this one here is a simple uh, we have a whippet dog which is like a greyhound and uh, this this world of gig I'm working on here. Um, uh, it's going to be a whip it running like he's running a race. The legs are the front thing we are going to move back and forth. Um, this one here is just a cat. I've done these before. Pour goes up and down into a bowl uh, like he's drinking. The way cats do. Um, very simple, you know. Uh, I like simple uh, world of gigs because the least mechanical movements you have, the better if you're going to put them outside in the weather. Because all the joints do take abuse and they're going to get hung up. Uh, no matter what kind of wood or glue or anything else you use, they're going to get hung up. Um, so you got to be careful about that. It's nice to make complicated ones that do a lot of different things, but um, you're going to put them outside in the weather. You got to keep that in mind. All right. Um, you know, and uh, you know, there's just uh, endless things you could do with these things. Um, once again, this is the seesaw uh, that you've seen in the other video. This, uh, you know, some, a lot of people think this one is complicated, it's not at all, it's very simple, really. Just, uh, see, so itself sits on a, on a pivot rod right in the middle here, and, uh, very simple. Alright, the one shaft goes up and down, I had to cut the hole through the platform for this one. If you notice my other ones, the shafts are up on top, this one the shaft is underneath. That's the only difference. Alright, and, um, so it goes through the platform. And, um, and like I told you about the propellers, the other Willigas have big flat propellers, they go very fast. These ones have simple propellers made like pedals. They don't catch as much wind, but um, that's not uh, that's the reason I made them this way. Because I didn't want the seesaw to go crazy going up and down like, like bananas, uh, you know, um, totally out of control. Uh, I wanted it to go, uh, you know, uh, moderately, uh, you know, fast. And uh, same with the soldier Willig gig that you've seen. Um, you know, I want that to work the same way, you know, um, really quickly here, I'll show you the, uh, the soldier, 
for those of you who haven't seen it before. Again, the propellers move relatively slow, and the sword just salutes the flag. You know, um, very, very simple. Again, this is the first one I ever made. Very, very simple. You see, this one's on the top. See, the sword's on the bottom. This one's on the top. The shaft comes out. You get the cam, and up to the pivot point. These things are simple to make, and uh, they're a lot of fun to make with kids. Kids really love these things. Um, you know, this particular one, uh, thing right here, this right here is not actually a, technically a whirler gig. Uh, this is a, a big biplane I made many years ago, and used to have it suspended from the ceiling actually in my office. And I just pulled it back out. I had a bunch of propellers lying around, so I, I added a whole bunch of propellers, eight small ones and uh, one big one in the middle. Which I took off different uh, various fans. Uh, I'm going to mount that on top of a, a high pole out in the middle of my garden to uh, keep the birds away. So, um, you know, uh, I like anything that spins in the wind. I just think they're fun. So, um, again, uh, getting the kids involved, okay? It's a great idea. Um, and uh, making a world of gig, uh, you, know, you know, you guys, uh, you know, give it some thought. You know, um, uh, I think it's a great suggestion and I uh, hope. Um, Hope I answered your questions about the books. Again, these books are the best books. I recommend um, Anders S. Lund. Anders S. Lund. Okay, making animated world of gigs, action world of gigs, and easy to make world of gigs. And there's three of his many books. Um, he's great. His books are great. Um, highly recommend them. All right, Anders S. Lund and um, Robert Frost, Creative Kinetics. And last but not least, Henry T. Brown, Mechanical Movements. All right. Um, hope I answered your question about the uh, information and uh, get you going on this. And, um, you know, have a lot of fun with the kids. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Welcome, Daniel.